for the show. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? That shirt.
Hey, how many barrel we used yesterday? I can't account for two. Seven. Ah, okay. Anyway, it looked like we have new client. We will have to increase production by 15%, but nothing set in stone yet. Thanks for the heads up. We get Netrunner any day now, but and before you ask, no. He have no idea what he signed up for. He think he will be testing equipment. Gentlemen, I have a few virtues to get rid of, but we urgently need new material, no matter the gender. The more meat than chrome, the better. Single use only, of course. I am open to negotiation. Let me know if we can come to some arrangement. Man, these guys are sick. Miss Shobo, maybe you should check who you address first. Client seeking PT with white female capable of withstanding a lot, no anesthesia. Must be experienced, young, knockout gorgeous. No termination for now. Can you handle it? This still available? I have a girl who's perfect for this. Yours, Nadia. Sure is. Send a demo reel. Hey, we'd like to buy a scroll of a net runner trying to break through the black wall. Ending shouldn't need in mentioning. Name your price and we'll pay, no questions asked. But A, the scroll has to be of the primest quality, and B, we get a sample before payment. We already start scouting actor and we'll have BT ready for you in a couple weeks. So for those who haven't spent hours and hours and hours listening to cyberpunk lore videos, the black wall is where the old internet is. The old internet was destroyed by one netrunner who basically made it scorched earth uh, when he was killed. I don't quite remember his name, but the black wall is uh, the digital representation of the firewall between the old internet and the new net. Covers. Classic. Can't go wrong. Except these are solid steel, not softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out.
the maintenance room. See what I can stir up. So, is that girl Dr. Fingers give us going to be useful for anything? That chick is a bad omen. That's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her, because if word gets out about her, we're effed. What omen are you talking about? Next thing I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you, my reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're assing your pants just because of some comatose girl. What are you on, hmm? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage get even worse. Cuz, like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig, more like Clouds or even the Mox. And for the record, I don't touch our supply and you know that. But there's this Corpo. I said it, I sold him some of our stuff. Apparently it made him aggressive. Smack some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened and he noticed a shadow of Lizzie on the wall. The girl who started the mocks. And guess what happened? A week later he was dead. They found him in some back alley tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was chooms with the guy, but still, that's no way to go. Who cares how you go if you're dead? Decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen makes not one iota of difference. If it's not the RPM, then it's the BDs that are effing with your head, because your imagination is starting to get more whack than the stuff we're scrolling. So you don't care how you're remembered? What if you die in the toilet, eh? You effing gong, get back to work. Don't you understand no one cares about you? Whose effing memory will you be in? You would barely fill up any space on my deck. You and your effing omens. Gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scavs. 
No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Hang in there, Ellie. Clear. 
we were able to get a generator going, except there's still a little issue with the setup. The lights either on in the bathroom or the studio. For the life of us, we can't figure out how to have them both on at the same time. So then no piss breaks, or else the actor will break character and we don't have time for that S. Yeah, of course we won't switch off the equipment in the studio or anything. Don't you effing dare think of coming up to use mine. You either sort it out, or it's your loss. You can work knee-deep in S for all I care, as long as the BDs get done. Lovely woman. I went out to get some fresh air, and effing street lamps are flickering like the Tonataz strobe lights. Either that, we scrolled the BD is sending messages in Morse code, or that implant of hers is sucking up enough juice to cause a blackout. So install some breakers or something. We're in an effing power plant. There has to be something lying around. Use your imagination. Fit in a current regulator. Man, it's like working with children. Jeez, okay, well think of something. On the break now anyway. Evelyn, just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. <laughs> 